Hello and welcome to Artisan Upholstery Studio. My name is Amy and I've been an upholsterer since 1995. I recently had a request from Stephanie to talk about the tools that I use every day when I do upholstery work and I love getting suggestions from you on what I should talk about. So if you have any ideas for things that you'd like me to talk about, feel free to post them in the comments. And today I'm going to talk about my favorite tools, the essential tools, and the tools I think you're going to need if you want to start your own upholstery business. The amount that you're going to invest in tools obviously depends on how serious you are about upholstery. If you're going to start your own business, you're going to want to invest in the best tools that you can afford. If it's just a hobby for you, there are some essential items that I'm going to talk about now, uh, and that's probably all you're going to need. My number one essential tool is a pneumatic stapler and compressor. There is no way I'd be able to get a professional looking job without an air power tool. I can't even imagine working with an electric stapler where you have to think about pressing super hard into the frame or even worse, one of those mechanical things where you're like, you know, I, I can't even imagine it. That's just going to hurt your hand. Once so. you use an air powered stapler, you will never go back. So with the stapler, you're going to want to invest a little bit of money in it. You don't want to go with the cheapest one, but you don't need to go with the most expensive one either. If you buy a really cheap one, what happens is the staples jam up and you just don't look as cool when you're upholstering. So I paid about $150 for this stapler, which I think is a pretty good price. Um, it's worked really well for me for four years and I'm, I'm pretty hard on my staplers. So um, it doesn't jam up very often. I really enjoy it. So I would, I would probably say $150 is the starting point for a stapler. If you want to go higher than that, you can. Uh, you want to find one that's comfortable for you because it really does, if you do this a lot, become a, an extension of your, of your arm. Really. So next I want to talk about the compressor. This one is a four gallon pancake compressor. You can find these anywhere. They're very reasonably priced. Uh, now this is for one person working. If you have more than one person working, like I do in my workshop space where I teach, uh, I have a bigger compressor out there. The problem is when more people are working, then uh, it cycles more often. So what is the first thing that you do when you're upholstering a piece of furniture? That's right, we have to strip it. So there are tools that are specially made for stripping furniture. These ones are to pull staples out. Uh, this one's about a $30 tool. It's my favorite kind. There are different kinds, so you can find which ones work best for you. This one's my favorite. Now, these are just simple slip joint pliers. They were eight bucks at the hardware store. You can get them anywhere. There's nothing special about these, but they are essential for ripping fabric off of chairs. I would actually say that I use these more than the staple remover when I am stripping a piece of furniture. The next essential item is a great pair of shears. These I have had since 1995. They have my name engraved in them. I use them all the time. I don't let anybody else touch them. These are my babies. So I even have a, a callus on my thumb where I use them so often. So buy a great pair of shears. You're not going to regret it. Husbands come and go, but these will last a lifetime. All right, so the next essential item, which looks simple, but it is essential, is a regulator. It's a C.S. Osborne and Company regulator, and um, this is an essential thing. It's about $12 where I'm from, and it's, I, I, I can't even explain how many purposes this thing has. It's just, and in my workshops, it's called the Black Handled Pokey Tool, but essential. Get one of these. So the next items are probably only necessary if you're starting a business. If you're just doing this as a hobby, you might not need these things. Uh, a tack hammer is necessary when you're putting studs onto a chair or sofa. Uh, so those decorative little nail head trim, you're going to need this tool to put those on. If you're planning on fixing the frames and doing the springs, you're going to need a webbing stretcher. So that's what this looks like. Um, and you are also going to need curved needles in various sizes. So this is the biggest one I have. This is the tiniest one I have and all of them are necessary. And finally, a mask. If you plan to do any spraying of varnish or chemicals, highly recommend you get a proper mask to protect yourself. So today we discussed the essential tools, the most important ones, the ones I use every day. 
There are more. There's the sewing machine, the steamer, the button maker. Those are ones, if you're getting really serious, we're going to talk about those. If you're interested, comment in the posts and I will make a video about that. I'm also planning a video on the essential supplies that I use in upholstery. If you're interested, comment. That'll make me do it a lot quicker. So, uh, if you liked this at all and found it helpful, don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of great content coming up. I'm really excited about it. And thank you for watching.